everyone, hello man, what's up man, what's up woman, uh, let me sit in, you know, comfortable position, um, it's so, you know, comfortable environment, um, this brown lightning, some pillows under my ass, so it means that I'm ready to start this podcast. Uh, I have never been doing such videos when I'm only, you know, talking my thoughts. But now I decided to create this one so I can uh, do not do this perfectly. Especially when you are not native speaker, I mean in English. Because my native language is Russia, but I will try to say well to speak with you and speak about very important topic for every who trains for everyone who trains who is interested in workouts gaining muscle uh, being in shape etc so um, i'm glad to see everyone here uh, although i can see you uh, but I feel your presence. It's this the most important thing. And uh, this podcast about how to make your workout more productive. Um, I hope this one will be very useful. So sit back. It will be interesting, useful and informative. Uh, in this channel, I'm talking about sport and male development. So, if you're a man, this channel was made for you. Watch this video till the end, subscribe, we begin. Um, on the screen you can satisfy by, you know, beautiful views of Divoka Sharka in Praga. I moved from Ukraine to Praga and now I'm living in Czech Republic. And uh, I decided with my friend to climb uh, the highest hill it was difficult to climb yes but the views were worth it we made it and uh, i want to share with you this little a little piece of the day yes so, but and i think that really everyone needs to experience this climbing you know it's like a challenge because you climb, you climb, you climb, you keep climbing and uh, one minute you decide to stop and go down but your brain th thinks that no, you walked so much, you must keep going and you keep going and you're on the top and create this video uh, but if you repeat be extremely careful, do not rush, so that everything goes well. Um, so let's go. First, advice to make your workout more productive. I believe it's do the exercises you enjoy. Um, this is my personal key which I use weekly, which I use every workout. Uh, this is so because it's really um, not fun to do things you hate. Because of this, I believe that doing workouts more interesting, even a little bit interesting, this is the key to be satisfied with workout, yes, and be satisfied with your results. Uh, it counts for regular workouts and for cardio. I mean, workouts for... Uh, uh, for example, let's imagine regular workout. You do bench press. Then you do lat pull down, you do double press, and uh, another stuff, and all that exercises you hate. 
because you hate gym in general and uh, it won't work because you hate those things uh, the key here is uh, first of all uh, change exercises or just uh, mm, find new alternative way to train maybe gym isn't for you maybe you should train outside street workout maybe and street workout isn't for you maybe you are pro, can be pro yoga in in yoga it up, it's up to you so try different exercises try different techniques and try different methods uh for me personally it's like you know every year is a year is another phase phase uh, one year i can adore training in gym one year i don't train outside you know i don't know how it works and uh, i do both i like both ways but sometimes i like something more sometimes i like something another i like something another so you should understand yourself and you should find the ways which will be the best for you which will be easier the easiest for you and uh, to not force yourself you know because when you force yourself to do something automatically in time you will hate it you force yourself to wake up in the morning at 5 a.m you force you keep forcing you keep forcing you keep forcing in a week you will hate it as never before and you won't even try this again no 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 you will try but not soon because you used to hate it so it's very important especially if you are a beginner to start like it with uh, by doing what you want a little bit water to speak better so if you are a beginner and uh, you don't know basic stuff how something works you uh, must find the ways which will be the best for you um, because forcing yourself isn't a way i believe in it it uh, it's for um, each aspect of our lives you know for example even you know sex for example sex when you do it regularly you have plan <laughs> it's so fun but it's true you, do, you have a plan do it five times per week one hour no less no more you have to stick this plan and uh, <laughs> i can say that it won't work and uh, in time you will hate it even it you will hate it so keep it in your mind that uh, you must um, acknowledge that it's true and uh, find something for you some find something personally for you if you ha hate push-ups do dips if you hate dips do push-ups if you hate pull-ups do let pull down if you hate, hate let pull down and pull-ups do australian pull-ups or um, bent our barbell row it's up to you i hope you understand it understand my sense let's keep moving message massage or how to say feeling good <laughs> massage uh it's very relaxing especially after a hard workout or hard day in general it's uh you know you just lie down relax and uh, rebuild your muscles um, if you don't want to go for a massage sesh 
you can arrange it yourself, you know, just squeeze your arms, squeeze your shoulders, squeeze your chest, back, legs, calves, etc. Just, you know, find different creams, do this. <laughs> because uh, if you don't have opportunity, great opportunity. Uh, because um, it recovers, it recovers all your body, you're relaxing. Um, I like do this um, before bedtime, because you know, when you did it, you went for massage session, you went, you, you, come, you came back at home, you just lie down, you are sleeping, and you sleep like a baby. <laughs> Try this one. I will keep moving. But you necessarily should uh, implement this in your daily routine if you are busy training. In the gym or outside, it doesn't matter. <sighs> Beautiful views, isn't it? Um, increase the load on each workout. I said about it a lot of times, but it's the golden mean of all sessions, workout sessions. Uh, when you increase weights, you know, it's necessary for muscle growth and for body development. Because if you stay still at the same point lifting the same weights or doing the same exercises with body weight and not increasing you know intensity or reps or decreasing the amount of seconds between sets i mean rest uh then you don't have progress in different aspects gym outside Let's uh, say that all video I will speak about gym and training outside, okay? You need to increase the load. Why? I said it before. But at the same time, you should understand that you shouldn't sacrifice form for heavier weights or type of exercises. For example, you do bench press, yes? You took 100 uh, kg plates. You do, you do, you do. You just, you know, do it so wryly. You can't move in <laughs> normally as it uh, was a must. Uh, but you keep, you keep pushing. It's not going well. And uh, in the end of the way, you know, something bad can happen. Uh, but heavy weights with good form uh, can give you better results in a sh shorter amount of time. It means increase weights or intensity regularly. Um, let me explain in detail. For example, you took 20 kg doing barbell press, it's easy for you. Okay, you understand that it's easy, you can go harder. You go harder, you took 30 kg, it becomes harder, harder, and your form is good. So, you again took harder weight, 45 kg, and uh, it's really, you know, you can work in, uh, in the range of reps from 8 to 12. And you know, 11, 1 was so hard, and you tried 12. And uh, it didn't happen. You did only 11. It means that you found your, your weight. Because in the next workout, 
in, in a week. You understand that you should lift not with the same weight 45 kg, but you should weight, you should lift, um, uh, you should push uh, 12 reps with support, um, but you should, you must. 12 reps is your goal. Let's imagine that you did 12 reps. And it means that, again, in a week, you increase your weight and your goal with this weight is 8 reps. For example, let's imagine 50 kg, you should do 8 reps. If you did it, it means that, again, in a week, you must push 9 reps. It works so. The same with street workout. Yes, if with street workout it's more harder. You have to come up with new ideas uh, or new exercises, but it must be harder than previous one. You know, maybe uh, uh, just uh, buy dumbbell, put it on your back, be careful and do push-ups or improve yourself in dips do more dips, uh, inc increasing addition, uh, and adding additional weight, etc. I hope you got my point. Let's move on. But uh, always remember this method, increasing the load on each workout, because it's the key for each training. Okay? I don't know. I don't know why, but I'm um, I'm a type of man who drinks a lot, really a lot. If you uh, were living with me, you were just surprised surprised how much water I drink, and this is our seventh method advice trick: water. But we will speak about it later. Uh, I don't know, little fact about me, I just keep drinking, keep drinking the whole day, I don't know why, I, I drink li really a lot, it's strange, but it's so. Basic exercises at the beginning of a workout. Basic exercises are exercises um, in which you use more than one muscle group of your body. It can be bench press, push-ups, lat pull down, pull-ups. Because at the beginning of the workout you are full of energy. And uh, that those ex those exercises need uh, your energy respectively. Mm, you're you are you ready to do those ones at the beginning you can do uh, those exercises and you do this after those exercises you begin doing you know like easier ones you know such um reverse dips maybe um, dumbbell curves etc but in the beginning, when you're full of energy, you can do uh, basic exercises because you are just, you know, like a monster, a fucking monster. You're ready to tear this barber or, you know, this bar, pulling your body because you're full of energy. So basic exercises at the beginning Keep moving. Consume more carbs before workouts, training, you name it. Uh, your body is going to put forth a better effort and uh, get a better value results. Let's go back a little bit to the previous one, basic exercise at the beginning. 
you know, it's uh, like almost, almost the same. Um, for example, you know that at the beginning of the workout you will do basic exercises, you need energy, so you slept enough, you uh, drank a lot of water, and about carbs, you know, you mm, consumed uh, different shakes, uh, which include, which is including, you know, some carbs, banana, jam, etc. This is energy, energy, which you need to spend effective workout. So carbs before workout, this additional energy which everyone needs. Okay. Uh, when you are full of energy, you're ready to push more. You're ready to increase the load on each workout. Because when you slept bad, when you um, didn't eat, you know, it's just a uh, way to nowhere. Uh, the same about, you know, uh, those ones who likes um, um, morning workouts. It's also for me <laughs> because I wake up uh, at 5 a.m. about about 5 a.m. before I need because I need to go to my favorite job <laughs> at KFC and uh, I need time just and um, I have this time in the morning for creating videos, self development, etc. And uh, knowing this rule, I consume you know banana, mm, bread with cheese, and for me it's uh, you know proteins and carbs in a different amounts, but it's uh, those uh, carbs and proteins which I personally need. Um, when I was younger, I didn't do this. It's maybe mm, two years, one year ago, uh, I woke up and uh, I ate nothing. I just went and spent two hours outside. Uh, it doesn't go in well. You just should remember that before training in the morning, afternoon, after working somewhere, in the evening, before sleeping, you know, uh, you should consume some carbs. Okay. After recording this video, I will drink one more cup of water because this cup of water is almost empty. Okay, keep moving. This, you know, uh, <clears throat> uh, I'm talking about food now. We spoke about carbs, now about protein. Second one, protein. Um, our body needs it to rebuild and be ready to the next training. This is uh, the main goal of it. Without it, you know, you will uh, destroy your muscles every workout. It uh, won't be recovered. With proteins, everything will be good. Because protein is made for recovering. If you don't eat eggs, uh, cheese, meat, milk, something like that, proteins in general, you won't recover your muscle, which are destroyed. So your goal is uh, consume carbs, consume protein, and uh, I... Uh, so your goal is consume enough carbs in a daily routine, you know, not only before workouts, and consume protein also not only before workouts during the day throughout the day uh, also you can eat protein before bedtime because in the bedtime during the during during sleeping you just lay, lay down and relaxing doing nothing and uh, doing this protein is working <laughs> 
so you know it just mm, win win you sleep and recover at the same time seventh one water you should make it the habit to drink water regularly throughout the day like me let's do this now stand up take a water a cup of water or two cups of water drink with me i will wait for you i can give you 10 seconds time is going while you're sitting stand up take a water i'm waiting skull It was perfect, isn't it? <laughs> uh, you start to create new habit. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, it's so important because, you know, when you drink enough, you feel yourself like a different person, like another person. You feel yourself more energized. You can generate new ideas and uh, you sleep better. You feel the life differently much better than before so water is you know just like um, something something necessary for everyone i don't know why people don't uh, drink enough nowadays maybe because uh, they are busy too much they work a lot and they just forget about these basic needs uh, and consume enough carbs proteins daily before uh, consume it before workouts to fulfill yourself with energy be energized during workout like a monster to to uh, implement increasing the load on each workout to be ready just do more uh, each set each for each uh, exercise to be ready, you know. Uh, massage, massage for recovering. Uh, it's just only one way to recover yourself. It's another, a lot of other techniques. You can find them personally for you. Scrolling the net, massage just works personally for me, and I want to I want to say about it. Uh, and the most important one is do the exercises you enjoy because all of those things proteins, water, carbs basic exercises you won't do if you hate those things uh, you know it's not only about exercises you should like it it's also about food if you hate you know for example buckwheat just replace it if you hate um, soups like me just don't eat this uh, it's all about food uh, find different uh, food which you like and which is healthy it can be uh, buckwheat oatmeal nuts I just uh, can't live without nuts. Uh, whatever. What you like and what is healthy. Doing what you like uh, during workout and during your daily routine. This is the key for happiness. And uh, you should remember that all those things for happiness. If uh, workouts makes your if workouts make your life harder, mm, busier. You become angry. Why do you, why you, do you keep doing those things? Hmm? Reply. Hmm? I don't know. Because all those things to be happier. If you un, if you not become happier, just stop doing that that shit. If it doesn't make your life better. So. Try another te uh, different techniques which will work in your life personally. Because we are all different. This is the fact. 
everyone's everyone likes different stuff so find those things and uh, keep doing another advices adv another and keep doing another advice from this video to you know to just complete the whole the whole set to be ready to gain results i think it was useful for everyone if it's so subscribe to the channel click on like write a comment i don't know why but in the last time you don't watch my videos <laughs> you don't like you don't comment nothing let's change this support my channel and uh, I think together we can just create something big from this channel. Um, thanks everyone for listening. It thinks a lot for me, especially if you keep listening until this moment. If you keep listening, write a comment that you achieved the challenge to listen until that moment. So, skull. It was Viking Spirit and his crazy author Bogdan Kharenka. Appreciate everyone. I want to speak also a lot, but I can't waste your time. <laughs> See you in the next videos. Have a good weekend. Bye.